Kane, I think, if uh, if I was United, that was a one of the first players I would have attempted to go and get. Out and out centre forward guarantees you in the region of 30 goals a season. But you'd be a little bit concerned if you were Kane going there about the strength of your squad and the strength and depth of the creativity, I think, in the side. I look at United... And they've got problems in wide areas. You know, Rashford yeah, obviously. Well, I don't. You know, they have. They've just got problems in wide areas. So as your creativity come through the middle through Fernandez, you know, so they've got issues. They've got issues. Kane would have been a brilliant signing for them, but you're absolutely spot on, Alan. It wouldn't have answered everything. Well, Tottenham chairman Daniel Levy's revealed that Spurs have a buyback clause for Kane. Uh, he may end up going back there one day. Let's say a very good morning. John is now for more on this. Kane's former manager at Spurs and a man who managed them to the Champions League quarterfinals, Harry Redknapp. Harry, good Harry, morning, good morning, Harry. mate. How are you? Aaron, Ali, good morning. How are you? Uh, We're a great. job for him, Harry. We're a job Harry, for him, thank mate. you for the Grove. I hope you had a lovely day at the golf. Uh, um, great day, Alan. I mean, you did a fantastic job there. And uh, I played with Russell Osman. What a good golfer he is. Yes. My yeah, absolutely. Good Harry, it'd be very easy now to look at form and the disruption of Manchester United at the moment think they're going to get battered tonight. But it's football, it's Champions League. How do you see tonight going? Well, as you say, you've got to fancy Bayern Munich, haven't you, at home and uh, Harry Kane. And at the moment, Man United do look in disarray again. I mean, they've started the season shocking, really. And Brighton absolutely murdered them last week. Uh, even though the manager came on Ten Hag and said he thought that they played very well up. I couldn't see it. I watched the game. I, um, he obviously was watching a different game to the one that I saw. But I, I really think they've, they've got big, they're going to have a tough night tonight in Munich. You know, you've been there over the years, I'm sure. And uh, it's not an easy place to go, is it? And no. I think with Harry, and Harry Kane scoring goals, four goals, I think, in four games, I'd have to fancy Bayern to really, uh, they could hammer them tonight. It'd be, it could be, could be a tough night for Man United. Harry, where, where do you sit on it, Harry? I'm, I'm looking at it, and I've got, I've got to say, I do have a de- degree of sympathy with Ten Hag. I, I haven't necessarily agreed with an awful lot he said, particularly after the Wolves game, talking about the penalty decision and things like that. I've not necessarily agreed with him. But when you're at a club at Manchester United, I'm thinking of the off-the-field uh, issues that he's had. <laughs> What's going on there? Down, Rosie, down. Now, behave yourself. <laughs> Harry, are you at Monmore? Is, is, that uh-huh. trap, is that trap four at Monmore? Trap four. They're in the traps. They're here and running. And they're off. Harry. Barney, Barney's got left in the traps. Harry, Harry, I was going to ask you about the troubles at Manchester United. Mm. Do, do you have any sympathy for Ten Hag at all with, with, with some of the stuff that, that he's had to deal with off the field? You know, whether it's Ronaldo, whether it's uh, Anthony Rashford, Jaden Sancho. I mean, there's problems everywhere, isn't there, there? Yeah, oh, sure, they've had problems. But at the end, of, you know, listen, it all, the personal, the people always seem to get the blame is the Glazers. They've bought players in, they've spent money this year again. Uh, it's whether they've spent the money well or not. You know, you look at the squad and it doesn't look like they have, they have spent very well. So, um, he's really got to start getting some results, hasn't he? At the start of the year, I really thought they could be challenging. I looked at their squad. They brought the centre forward in. If they'd have got Harry Kane, like you were saying just now, it would have made a massive difference to that team. I don't know why they didn't push the boat out and make that one big marquee signing yeah. rather than bringing in three or four players. It, it, that is how important it could have been to them. But they haven't got him, and I think it's going to be a tough season for them. They're going to do well to certainly make top four again this year. That's not going to be easy to get in the Champions League. So, um, yeah, he needs he needs to pick up some results. He certainly needs to get out of this group in the in the in the uh, in in the Champions League, and he needs to obviously try to. C- cement a top four place again otherwise it'll be a disastrous season yeah, yeah. now Harry last night City alright it wasn't polished but 3-1 victory the impressive Champions League home record is brilliant all eyes on United of course in Bayern but also Arsenal Arsenal against PSV and of course Sunday Arsenal against Spurs so this is a big couple of games for Arteta yeah, big week. I mean, they, you know, they've been in good form. They had a good result the weekend at Everton. Um, tonight at home, you'd have to fancy them at home, wouldn't you? You'd think they'd be too good for PSV tonight. Um, uh, but the big game, obviously, as well. And 
on the weekend, on Sunday, that the local, you know, London derby. Um, he got an injury the weekend. They left Martinez, got injured, which is obviously a blow to them. But they've got a strong squad. And I think Arsenal, look at the moment to me, the only two teams you can see challenging Man City in any shape or form, I think, is Arsenal and Liverpool. I yeah. really can't see anybody else. Yeah. Chelsea, Chelsea are miles off it. Tottenham are doing great. But, you know, we're not getting carried away. I think they're going to start challenging to win the league this year. Um, but it'll be a good game the weekend. Both teams are, are in good form. Tottenham have done well. Madison, what a signing for that oh, money. Yeah. What, a, yeah. what a good player anyway. Fantastic talent. Um, but Tottenham are looking very strong. So I think they'll go to go to Arsenal on Saturday or Sunday and uh, feel they can get something from the game. It's going to be a great, great uh, London derby, I think. Two good teams. Harry, how would you plan uh, training up ahead of the North London derby? Would it be the same or would you be continually talking to the players about, come on, boys, we can go into their backyard, it's brilliant for the fans and this would really give us a shot in the arm for the rest of the season or would you be doing similar? Or is it just I a think case you do of, similar, yeah. but you, you have to get the message. It's not like back in the day when everybody was like, they'd all be, you know, grow up being London boy, being supporters of the club or whatever, or knowing the history of the London derbies. These lads now, I mean, let's be honest, they're all mostly lads that have come from abroad. They probably have got no idea of what it means to the fans or the history of the club. Some of them, some that have been there a few years will, but one or two of the new players, it's going to be very, very different for them. So yeah. you've got to make them aware of just what's at stake and how important it is to the people who matter, and that's the fans. Yeah. So you've got to get that message across to them for sure. Just a quickie, Harry, I've got a break. Uh, you mentioned uh, behind City, it's going to be uh, Arsenal and Liverpool, three horse. Liverpool at home to your West Ham. Uh, West Ham have got to bounce back after that defeat last week. West Ham have done a good start to the season. Now. And, you know, they look strong. They look like they're going to have a good year. And they could they could push for to try to get into that sneak into that top six maybe certainly see them being top eight this year and they're in good form and they start to have a great European run again last year was fantastic for them. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil Thursday and Friday morning six till ten on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker Talk Sport.